Leaf Structure In this module, you will learn about the leaf structure. The leaf is sometimes referred to as one of the principal factories of the world because it is the organ in which photosynthesis occurs. It is also the organ where other food substances such as fats and proteins are formed. These substances eventually become the food of all other living organisms either directly or indirectly. Sure, all of you have seen leaves. But do you know the structure of the leaf? As a whole, a typical green leaf consists of the petiole or the leaf stalk, leaf blade or lamina, and the leaf base. Let's learn about these. Ever observed a plant in your vicinity? Look at the arrangement of the leaves. They are held at an angle by the petiole and arranged in a way that prevents overlapping of the leaf surfaces. This facilitates maximum exposure to light. In the leaves of some plants, like grasses and maize, the petioles are absent. These leaves have long laminae. The leaf blade is usually thin and flat, reducing the distance through which molecules travel. These molecules make their way by diffusion. Every leaf has a branching network of tubes which transports water and mineral salts to all the cells and the sugar products of photosynthesis are removed. Let's have a look at the internal structure of a leaf. The epidermal layers found on both the upper and lower surfaces of the leaf are made up of non-photosynthetic and transparent cells. They are covered with a waxy waterproof substance called cutin, which forms a cuticle layer. This cuticle layer, the guard cells, possess chloroplasts and control water loss. Their walls are thicker around the stoma. When a lower water potential develops in the guard cells, water will enter into it by osmosis. As the cells become turgid, the part of the cell with the thicker wall cannot expand as much as the other side. So the pair of guard cells is pulled apart and the stoma opens. The mesophyll tissue is an internal part of the leaf where the process of photosynthesis takes place. It consists of two layers, the palisade mesophyll, which is the upper layer, and the spongy mesophyll, which is the lower layer. Let's learn about palisade mesophyll first. Have you noticed those beautiful fine lines on a leaf? They are the veins which is another important part of the leaf. The veins are the vascular tissues of the leaf located in the spongy mesophyll. These veins are arranged in a specific pattern, a branching network which is called venation. Veins comprise of both xylem and phloem. Xylem carries water and mineral salts from the roots to the leaves and they diffuse out to the surrounding mesophyll cells. The sugar produced during photosynthesis is carried by the phloem cells out of the leaves to the other parts of the plant. Photosynthesis takes place in chloroplasts. They are oval-shaped structures which contain chlorophyll. More chloroplasts are situated in palisade mesophyll, which, as we know, lie perpendicular to the epidermis, thereby increasing the surface area exposed to the light. They move towards those parts of the cells which receive more light. Let's summarize. Leaves are arranged in a manner which prevents overlapping of their surfaces and thus enables efficient exposure to light. The epidermal layer is covered with pores or stomata and each stoma contains a pair of guard cells which regulates the passing of water and gases through stomata. The upper as well as the lower epidermal layer of the leaf is covered with cuticle layer which prevents water loss. The leaf which contains chlorophyll obtains carbon dioxide and water and captures sunlight which aids them in the process of photosynthesis. The leaf also releases carbon dioxide and transports glucose to the other parts of the plant. Photosynthesis is carried out in mesophyll which contains two layers, palisade mesophyll and spongy mesophyll. Palisade mesophyll contains closely packed 
long cylindrical cells arranged in a manner which facilitates maximum absorption of light, whereas the spongy mesophyll consists of loosely packed, irregular shaped cells which facilitates diffusion of carbon dioxide over an increased surface area. Veins in the leaves contain xylem and phloem, which aid in transportation of water and mineral salts to the leaves and the sugar produced during photosynthesis out of the leaves to the other parts of the plants. Photosynthesis takes place in chloroplast. Carbon dioxide is released by the cells of the leaf, but a higher quantity of carbon dioxide is utilized by the process of photosynthesis, which is diffused into the chloroplast. Oxygen, which is another byproduct of the process of photosynthesis, is diffused out of the mesophyll into the air spaces and then out of the leaves through stomata.